Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Kiwi Lads channel. In this video, I am going to be doing my preview for the upcoming match between the Hurricanes and the Highlanders that is set to take place in only a few hours' time. But if you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Let's see if we can get to 15 likes on this preview, but nonetheless, let's get right into it. Right, so this match, the Hurricanes versus the Highlanders, it is going to be played at 7.05pm kickoff on Friday night, which is tonight, which means we have only got a few more hours to wait. I am very excited for this match. And there are many reasons why, but the first one being the fact that last time we got to see these two sides play in round 10 of Super Rugby Aotearoa, it was 2020 and there were no crowds and these two sides still had a very good match. They had a lot of tries, also both sides ticking over 600 metres carried, which is just a crazy number. Normally you get about that for both sides in a match, but these two sides, they were offloading, they were beating defenders, clean breaks all over the place, and hopefully that is what we are going to get to see tonight as well. But yeah, a couple changes in both lineups and also one late injury change for the Highlanders. Josh Uwani has got a leg injury, so he is out. And the man who is coming in, Nihi Milnaskutter, the man who hasn't had an appearance in Super Rugby Aotearoa so far for the Highlanders. He is going to get his first chance for them. And it's up against his old side, the Hurricane. So it's going to be interesting, that battle in the number 15 jersey, Nihi Milnaskutter. For the Highlanders and then Geordie Barrett, a man in form for the Hurricanes. And we need to remember last time these two sides played, Geordie Barrett scored 30 points, including the hat trick. He was the only Hurricanes player to get any points on the board. He got them all 30 in total, which was a new record for Super Rugby Aotearoa as well. So he will be hoping that he can have another good performance up against this Highlander side because that's one thing that we need to remember is the fact that Super Rugby Trans Tasman is only a couple weeks away. Both of these sides want to find that little bit of momentum heading into the new competition that is going to be starting from, I believe it is the 14th of May, the Friday, is going to be when the first game is, and that's going to be one of these two sides. It is the Highlanders versus the Reds. So that is a very big match and one to get excited about. But first, these two sides will need to concentrate on this match as it will not be an easy task because both of these sides, even though they are the bottom two sides, if the Highlanders win this match and the Blues lose tomorrow up against the Chiefs, the Highlanders will actually finish in third for Super Rugby Aotearoa and that would be very impressive considering the fact that they have had, I think they're up to about 11 or 12 injuries so far this season. So for Super Rugby Trans Tasman, they may already be short of a few numbers, but if they can get the win here, they won't be short of confidence, that is for sure. So the other two changes in the starting lineup for the Highlanders, the first one is going to be in the number one jersey. It is Ethan De Groot going into the starting lineup, and that is for Aiden Johnston, who then moves to the bench. And then the other change is going to be in that number 14 jersey. It was Natunani Punavai, but unfortunately for him, he is injured, which means that Sam Gilbert, a man coming back from injury, hasn't played in about 10 months, I believe it is. He is going to be on the right wing, and he has got a lot of talent, the youngster, and he will be hoping that he can use it in this match. He will be marked, though, by Salisi Rayasi, which isn't an easy task for your first game back, let alone if you have been out of the game for about 10 months as well. Salisi Rayasi, try scoring machine, offloads for days, and he is very dangerous with that ball in hand, and he will be hoping to pick himself up one or two tries in this one. Then we move to the Hurricanes lineup, and there are only two changes as well. That is going to be in the number 13 jersey, it is going to be Billy Proctor starting rather than Peter Umanga Jensen who moves to the bench and then the other change. It is going to be the bus Julian Savia who is going to be in that number 14 jersey. That is instead of Wes Houston and he's going to be marking Jonah Nariki. So that's going to be a very interesting battle. It's going to be power versus speed. And we are going to get to see probably a few big hits on that side. But I feel like Jonah Nariki, he will love that challenge because of the fact that if he can find a little bit of space down the wing... He should be able to win that foot race against a bus, and then that could lead to a couple of tries for Nariki as well. Now, I say it every single game pretty much, and that is the fact that the loose forward trios for these matches, they are very important because of the fact that if your loose forward trio are playing well, so is the rest of the side. You've got Duplessis Karefi in that number seven jersey. So far, he has made the third most tackles in the competition. That is 81. And then you've got Shannon Frizzell, in the number six jersey for the Highlanders, and he has actually had the most carries in the Super Rugby Aotearoa competition so far. Also, the second most offloads. So it's going to be interesting to see how that little battle is going to be going. But scrum time, it is going to be important for both sides because you don't want to be giving away penalties in this matchup. We did see the last time that these two sides did play for Super Rugby Aotearoa 2021, there were actually 25 penalties between the two sides. And I don't think... That is a number that the Hurricanes certainly 
will want to get towards because of the fact they've already had seven yellow cards throughout the Super Rugby Aotearoa competition so far. So they don't really need any more of those to be fair, so they will be wanting to make sure their discipline is on point for this one. But talking about that match for 2021, it was round five of Super Rugby Aotearoa 2021, and the score was 30 to the Hurricanes, 19 to the Highlanders. And I feel like this match could be a little bit closer to the Hurricanes though. They have got home field advantage, it is gonna be at Sky Stadium. And I feel like it will be a very high scoring one. These two sides, they don't really have too much to lose in this situation, a lot to gain. And that is momentum and it is a very good thing to have. Look at the Chiefs, five in a row at the moment, but they have changed their lineup big time in the match tomorrow against the Blues. So we will have to wait and see how that one goes. But this match, I am very excited for it. And I hope you guys are too. It is just a short wee preview for this one. But if you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. I will be doing my usual watch along live stream when the match does kick off at 7.05. And I hope to see you there. But nonetheless, thank you all very much for tuning in. And I will see you all in the next one.